All right, welcome back, everybody. It is time to kahoot. All right, you guys ready to do this thing? Um, all right, so welcome back again, everybody that was here just a few minutes ago for the Unit 3 video um, review. I'm glad that you decided to come back, uh, play some kahoot again with me. Uh, we'll see how many people we have uh, joining us today. Uh, yesterday, we peaked at 555 answers on one of the questions. Uh, mostly, we're in like the 300, 350 to 400 range, so that was awesome. Um, so, you guys, definitely all welcome to get in here right now. Uh, the pin is up on the screen for everybody. So, this one is slightly shorter. It is only 15 questions. So, yesterday, we did 20. We're going to do 15 questions today. Uh, we should be in and out of here in less than half an hour, so that should be good. Um, so, I'm definitely going to be looking at the chat um, while we play, so I'll read the question out loud. Um, I'm not going to read the choices because I want to distract you more, but once I've read the question out loud, there's we know uh, that there is a little bit of a lag that's happening on this thing, um, but we have 60 seconds per question. I'm going to change tabs real quick. Just, yeah, I'm pretty sure I set it to 60 seconds per question. Um, I really hope that I did. If I didn't, that'll suck. Um, but yeah, 60 seconds per question. So don't worry about the time. Um, you know, hopefully the lag isn't too big of an issue. But if you're worried that there is a lag, and there is, by the time you get in, it'll probably only be about 30, 35 seconds left, something like that. Um, but that's fine. Don't worry about it. Everybody is experiencing that lag. Except for, who was the one that won yesterday? Knowing Deer? Something like that? Um, I don't know how they were getting in so quick. It wasn't me, I swear. I swear it, alright? Um, they did awesome yesterday. I don't know what that person's name is going to be today, if they are even back here today. Um, you guys notice I changed shirts? Decided new video, new shirt, I don't know. Rather than have the same shirt on for every video, because these are, are going to be posted after the live stream is over, so you can check those out as well. Um, all right, we have some people that are going to try and take down Knowing Deer, hope that you guys do, or that Knowing Deer defends their title, I'm good with that too. Um, all right, so we have about 290 players, we have slowed down significantly, so I don't want to wait anymore. Um, let's see, once we hit 300, let's get to 300, that'd be awesome. Uh, again, if you guys want to hit that like button for me, you know you're going to have fun, you know you're going to learn something, um, help me out with that, I do appreciate it. Um, we have over 300 people in on this game right now, that is awesome, the pin is going to stay on the screen. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Again, if you want to ask questions in the chat, I'm looking at the chat. Um, slow chat is on, so make sure you say your whole thing, because you're not going to be able to type for another 30 seconds. So, um, all right. So, this is Unit 3. We're all about civil liberties and civil rights. Everybody ready? Question number one. Congress can't establish an official religion because of the blank. All right. Congress can't establish an official religion because of the blank. <laughs> Knowing dear is not my wife, I promise. Um, <laughs> that's pretty funny though. Congress can't establish an official religion because of the blank. So we have four clauses there. Establishment, free exercise, free expression, necessary and proper. Over 300 answers are in. We have 25 seconds to go. All right. All right, all right. Jackson says this is light work. I'm glad you think so. That's good, that's good. Chris DeVita says, the can't do that clause. I like it, all right. Seven, six, five, all right. It looks like pretty much everybody is in. That is awesome. I'm gonna let this run all the way out to zero. 350 answers are in, that is awesome. And the overwhelming majority of you guys got that correct, it is the Establishment Clause. So no official religion, nor any preferential treatment for a religion or against a religion because of the Establishment Clause. All right, awesome. Free exercise, remember that one is the clause that lets you practice the religion of your choice. All right, very nice. And in first place is Smiling Tiger in a tie with Groovy Lizard and Honest Frog right on their tail. These names are so goofy. All right, question number two, let's do it. All of the following types of speech are unprotected except. All right, so three of these types of speech 
are not protected, one type of speech is protected. Kelsey Dixon over here in 271st place. You're doing great, girl. You're going to come back up. Not even worried. Not even worried. All right. 35 seconds left. We have about 80 answers, and they are flying in now. So again, it looks like it's about a 20-second lag for people. Lexi, what's up? Groovy Lizard. It's a nice name. Blue Llama. I like that, too. Some of these are actually pretty good. All right. All the following types of speech are unprotected except... Oh, Space Howler hit the wrong one. At least they know. That's the most important thing, right? That is the most important thing. All right, we have 374 people watching. We have 356 answers in with five seconds left. Two, one, and the answer is hate speech. Again, uh, more than half of you guys got this one right, so that's good. Um, it's not unanimous, though. So let's just discuss this briefly. Libel and slander, those are written and spoken lies. Libel is a written lie, slander is a spoken lie, not protected speech. You can sue somebody over libel and slander. Um, obscenity, not protected speech, so that kind of speech can be shut down, it can be outlawed. Um, speech intended to incite imminent illegal action, again, that's that time, manner, place restriction on speech. Also, not a, not a protected type of speech. Hate speech, however, is protected. Again, the idea is that even though it's vile, even though it's unpopular, even though people, hopefully most people, don't want to hear that kind of speech, um, the government isn't supposed to be in the business of deciding what type of speech is good or bad. So everybody gets that speech. And if you want to use your speech rights poorly, well, some people, they can use their speech rights poorly. All right, Groovy Lizard in first place. I think that was Lexi, right? Very nice. Yes, the KKK is allowed then. They just can't be violent. They can't break the law, but they can say a bunch of hateful stuff. That's absolutely right. All right. Number three, which of the following statements about the death penalty is not true? All right. So this one is tough. We didn't go over this in the review video. Um, so this one could be definitely a little bit challenging. 45 seconds. You guys are about to start getting into that question right now. So no problem. Grace asks, is there a way we can find out beforehand when your live streams will take place? Um, I have them posted, these three, so there's three live streams today. They were all posted yesterday, um, so they've been up since about 5 o'clock yesterday. And you can, um, if you were to see that, you can uh, click to remind you about that. You can wait for it. Um, so there's different ways. I'm sure other people can answer that a little bit better than I can, how they know. All right, so 10 seconds left. We have over 300 answers in. Again, I know that this is going to be a little bit of a tougher one, possibly. 350. Oh, 349. All right, so this one, like I said, I expected this one to be a little bit tougher. Not worried about it too much. Um, it. So the first three are true. Red, blue, and gold are true. Um, red, minors cannot receive the death penalty. So if somebody commits a murder while they are 16 years old, they cannot receive the death penalty. That happened in the last 15 or 20 years or so. A mentally deficient person, so somebody with an IQ of below 70, cannot be given the death penalty either. And you cannot be given the death penalty for any crime except for murder. So um, it has to be a capital offense. Somebody had to die for you to be given the death penalty by a state. Um, the only exception to that is treason. So if some of you were thinking of treason, I apologize because that one is technically a little bit vague there. Green is not true, though. Um, the Supreme Court has not ruled death penalty cruel and unusual punishment. And the reason that you should know that, even if you didn't know anything about red, blue, and gold, is because we still have the death penalty. And if the Supreme Court said that it was cruel and un unusual punishment, then that means it would be unconstitutional, right? So something to uh, keep in mind. All right, new first place, Genius Shark taking over, ahead by just three points over Dr. Swan and Rational Urchin right behind them. Question number four, which of the following statements is true about the public safety exception? All right, the public safety exception. What's up, Paul? Paul is here, so that's good. Now, now we can do this thing. We were just waiting for Paul this whole time. Which of the following statements is true about the public safety exception? Those of you who were here for the unit review, you have a nice advantage because we definitely talked about this one. So I do think that we should get this one. All right. Again, welcome all 427 people that are watching right now. Thank you so much. Hope that this is helping. Uh, hope that you know it's a little bit of an enjoyable way to review. 
some concepts you might not have seen for a little while. Help practice. See if uh, see if I can trick you up a little bit here or there. Lexi clicked wrong. Oh no. Matthew Peck says robot time. Five seconds or over 300 answers. Brandon noticing the shout out for, for Paul. All right, um, so about two thirds of you guys got this one right. Um, not quite two thirds. A lot of people put the red one. Red said states may restrict but not prohibit the right to bear arms. That is a true statement. It has nothing to do with public safety exception though. Public safety exception specifically is talking about when the police get a confession or a quote from a suspect that they didn't give the Miranda rights to. So the idea is that they are arresting the person, but there is an active dangerous situation taking place at that moment, right? And as that's happening, they ask the person, where did you throw the gun? So the person tossed the gun as they were running from police. Then they got caught. They're getting arrested. Where's the gun? They're trying because there's people all around. There's kids and they can use that. So the person's like, it slid under that car. They can use that as evidence, even though they hadn't given them the Miranda rights yet. All right. So that is uh, the public safety exception. All right. First place. Again, a new a takeover. Of first place. Rational, rational urchin. Just slightly bumps up ahead of Genius Shark. It might be a battle all day between those two. Next question. All of the following cases involve incorporation except. So one of these is not an incorporation case. The other three are. These are all among your required cases. And we did touch on all three of them in the Unit 3 review video. That took place, or the live stream that took place just a few minutes ago at 12 o'clock noon. About 30 seconds to go and the answers are flying in. We are up over 100 responses now, 30 seconds left still. So we are good. Dun, dun, dun. Angelique asks, how many streams tomorrow, Lamana? I don't know. I'm thinking a bunch though. Um, we'll see, like I'm gonna kinda review and see, um, get your guys' opinion, especially after this Kahoot or after the uh, concept application FRQ, see what you guys want. Um, I definitely plan to do a unit one review. Um, I plan to do one for the cases and one for the documents, and then I plan to do some Kahoots. So um, I'm thinking about doing a handful of live streams tomorrow. Um, so you guys let me know if that's something you'd be into. Um, all right, Shank is the answer. I'll give you a hint here, although it's not a great one, but the fact that this is Shank versus the US, it means that he was suing the federal government and not a state, so that's kind of a hint here. That's not involving incorporation. It was a law by Congress that said you couldn't criticize the government or obstruct the draft and that kind of stuff. So that was not an incorporation case. Gideon incorporated the right to an attorney. Roe versus Wade incorporated a right to abortion, so states cannot restrict abortion rights. And Green, McDonald versus Chicago, um, incorporated the right to bear arms. All right, so those are all um, incorporation cases. All right, Genius Shark back in first place. One point ahead of Dr. Swan and Honest Frog coming right up as well. All right, question number six. The people are demanding more live streams. That is awesome. You guys make me feel good. Um, number six says, the Miranda rule, dot, dot, dot. When's the merch coming? I think you got to hit 10K before you even start with merch, right? Like, 7K, that's not quite enough to be, uh, to be in that merch life. But one day, one day, I like the question. The question, trying to make my ego feel good. So, speaking of, make sure that you guys subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you tell your friends so that they can uh, help help them get ready for the AP test and they can subscribe too. That would be awesome. Uh, I do appreciate the support so much. So, you know, like the videos, hit subscribe for me, all that stuff. You guys know what to do. All right, so 340, 350 answers. We have 15 seconds to go. 458 people are watching right now. This is awesome. So what do we know about the Miranda rule? The Miranda Rule. Three, two, one. All right, the Miranda Rule. All right, good. About well over three fourths of you got this one right. Um, it requires police to inform suspects in custody of their rights. It tells them they have a right to remain silent. It tells them they have the right to an attorney. Um, and it doesn't really tell them the other part, though. It's the result of it is they can't use that evidence in trial. But yeah, 
it didn't establish those rights. It's just that they have to be told about those rights. What's up, Sam Stars? All right, so I guess the chances are pretty good. There you go. Genius Shark in first place, up by two over Dr. Swan. All right, question number 17. We're almost halfway there, guys. Which statement about incorporation is accurate? All right, which statement about incorporation is accurate? This one, read the choices carefully. All right, I didn't write this to be a really easy question. This is one of those, I'm trying to see, do you understand it? I spent about five minutes on the Unit 3 live stream talking about this idea. It is hugely, hugely important. Hugely important. A bead with the 21 Jump Street, that's my reference to the Miranda rights. Of course, you do have the right to be an attorney, but those aren't your Miranda rights. That was a great movie. That was a great movie. All right. Uh, Jason, why are bounty hunters not required to use Miranda rights? Because they are not law enforcement. They don't work for the government. Remember, the Bill of Rights is restricting the government. Um, it is not restricting private people from stuff. So no Miranda rights necessary. All right, excellent. I am so happy. You guys did an amazing job on this one. I was worried a lot of people might get this, this one wrong. All right, so red. Let's go through the wrong answers. First, states are now protected by the Bill of Rights as well. Um, that one looks good if you're looking too quickly, right? Because it mentions states, it mentions Bill of Rights. But the Bill of Rights doesn't protect governments. It is restricting governments. It is protecting people. Um, so that one is not correct. Blue said state power has increased to enforce Bill of Rights. That is not true. Whereas states used to be able to take away your free speech. Before 2010, they could take away your right to bear arms. Now states cannot do that. So the gold answer is correct. States may no longer violate most liberties found in the Bill of Rights. So that is selective incorporation. Virtually the entire Bill of Rights, but not quite everything has been um, incorporated just yet. And green is not true because it has definitely affected um, states' powers and states' rights. All right. Um, who, we're, we're not here to talk about bounty hunters. It's trying to get me distracted. Um, all right. Genius Shark back in front by three points. 41 of you guys have a three answer streak. That is awesome. Question number eight, civil liberties, dot, dot, dot. So which of these statements is true about civil liberties? Which of these statements is true about civil liberties? Which of these statements is true about civil liberties? All right, let's see. So people are talking still about the bounty hunter stuff. Kelsey, into the 100s now. Let's go. Let's go. Keep it up. Keep it up. Um, Catherine, I hope so. You got to be able to write it though, girl. So um, that's, you know, I can't tell you that. Everybody's different. But yeah, you need to be able to write it. But if you know the content, you know my videos. I think my videos are better in textbooks. <laughs> uh, you know. I don't know if that sounds cocky or what, but I, I think that, yeah, you'll know everything you need to know. Uh, I know this, I know the AP test inside and out, so trust me on that. You're learning the right stuff from me, that's for sure. Lexi asking a good question. I gotta remember to answer that. But first, 314 of you got this one correct. Civil liberties protect individual rights from the government. Again, weakening the government, protecting individual people. Blue. That is the definition of civil rights. So again, make sure 100% you want to make sure that you know the difference between civil liberties and civil rights, all right? Civil rights protect groups of people from discrimination. Civil liberties protect individuals from the government. And I'm going to go ahead and ignore the other two because they're not really too relevant. All right. Genius Shark maintaining their lead. Oh, expanding their lead over Dr. Swan. All right, all right. Let's see what happens. Question number nine. Question number nine. The Bill of Rights originally. That word originally matters, all right? Originally, originally, originally. All right, let's see. I know there was a good question in there that I wanted to. Uh, Lexi, coming with, does the money have pets? Yes, I do. A gorgeous cat. Her name is Chloe. She is a princess. She's a queen. I love her a lot. She's way too scared to come on camera though. She is, uh, she's shy. She's a shy girl. Um, I was just chilling with her between the 12 o'clock and one o'clock video. I went out to the living room, sat on the couch for a few minutes. Um, and 
there was Chloe. Me and her like to chill. Um, so yes, she is the second love of my life. Right after my wife. But they're like, right there. Alright, Bill of Rights originally four choices. We have over 350 answers, over 360 answers. I appreciate you guys. Well, 375 answers. There we go. That might be our biggest turnout so far in a question. 498 people watching. 300 and whatever that was, 75 answers. Originally, awesome. Overwhelming majority getting this one right. That is awesome, awesome. Um, only protected people from the federal government. Today, also protects people from state governments, but that's because of incorporation. Originally, it was just protecting people from the federal government, so very nice job. Um, Genius Shark in first place, Dr. Swan in second place. That lead is starting to extend. Dr. Swan, what's happening is you're, it's probably the lag. I know it's the lag. It's all right. Number 10, two-thirds of the way here. The incorporation doctrine is based on the blank amendment. Based on the blank amendment. Uh, Vim and Clorox are asking about percentages. 40%, 65%. Um, those numbers are definitely not correct in a normal year. Um, last year, it was about 82 to 83% was needed for a 5 on the AP Gov exam. Um, and it was in the mid-60s to get a 3. So um, those percents are way, way too low. Um, Gov is not, I mean, I'm not, it's not an easy test, and especially this year with it being all essay and FRQ. Look at this, 450 answers. Are we going to hit 500? 500 answers. We're flying right past 500. Whoa, we got 600 people watching right now. 545 answers in 15 seconds ago. This is unbelievable. Wow, this is awesome. This is awesome. I'm over here talking about that. But yeah, those percentages are way too low. Those percentages are more for like a, an AP Econ class, um, close to like a math class, a stats class, where you have really low percentages that can get scores that high, but not in Gov. Gov, you gotta score a little better than that. All right, so um, it looked like basically there were only two choices for people, 13th and the 14th Amendment. 13th Amendment is the abolition of slavery or involuntary servitude. It was not incorporation. Incorporation is from the due process clause found in the 14th Amendment. So we talked about this in the Civil Liberties, the Unit 3 review video at noon. Um, so hopefully those of you who are here watching that, you guys got that one right. Um, if you got this one wrong, again, you want to check out your Unit 3 stuff a little bit more. You want to know incorporation inside and out. Now, the good thing this year, no multiple choice. This is kind of a trivia question, let's be real. So you probably wouldn't be asked, like, which amendment was it? But, um, yeah, so I'm not, I guess I'm not that worried about this. But um, 14th Amendment is the most important amendment in AP Gov. Number one, bar none, is 14th is most important, and then the first and fourth are the next two most important, but it is number one, 14th Amendment. Um, so I do think that that's something that you should know. Um, all right, Genius Shark in first place still. Let's keep going. Question number 11. Question number 11. How, all right, this is, now this question is real. This is a tough one. How are the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments different from the amendments in the Bill of Rights. And then I'm abbreviating Bill of Rights as B-O-R. So this is a tough one. No shame in not getting this one. This is supposed to be tough. But if you know it, then that's really good. Because this shows, to me, this is the kind of question that shows some understanding. We have just under 30 seconds. The answers are a little slower to come in. That's not surprising. This is a tougher question, that's for sure. 736 people currently watching. Welcome to everybody. I'm so excited that you're here. That is amazing. That is really, really awesome. Um, I am so thrilled to have all of you guys. 750. That is amazing. 200 answers right now. So again, this one was definitely tough. And I know that the answer choices were a little bit long. So this one, that was definitely tough. Um, all right. So this is the first question that more people got wrong than right. Like I told you, this is a tough question. Um, so let's go with the right answer. Why is this correct? Let's assume that you weren't sure about the 13th. Let's do it this way. Let's assume you weren't sure about the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments. Which statements are correct about the Bill of Rights? Can we at least get that part, right? So the red one says the Bill of Rights weakens state governments. Well, it does now. It didn't originally, but so that one possibly. Green said that the Bill of Rights protects civil rights. That is not true. The Bill of Rights protects civil liberties. So blue is not true because of that. 
Green says the Bill of Rights protects groups. That's another way of saying the Bill of Rights protects civil rights. That is not true. Bill of Rights protects individuals. So we could scratch out blue and green. Now the next part is, well, what about the 13th, 14th, 15th Amendment? Really the idea here is that while the Bill of Rights weakened the federal government, it said that the federal government is not allowed to do something. They cannot make an official religion. They can't um, prohibit your free exercise of your religion. They can't take your free speech. They can't take away your right to bear arms. What the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments do is it says Congress, they can make laws to protect people. These are civil rights amendments, right? So it allowed the federal government to enforce the abolition of slavery. It allowed the federal government to enforce voting rights for black men. It allowed the federal government to pass legislation to enforce the equal protection of laws. So 13, 14, and 15, they definitely expanded federal power. They weakened state governments. The Bill of Rights originally limited federal government power. All right, so I know that one was tough, and we have a new leader. Fast Chicken in first place. Snowy Tiger right behind her. All right. Um, Mithra, so you're saying, for example, that free speech is a civil right. No, freedom of speech is a civil liberty. Freedom of speech is a civil liberty. Individuals have free speech. All right, your question is, which of the following banned segregation in public schools? I think my boy Brandon Holtzman might be fast chicken. I think he might be fast chicken. I don't know. I don't know, but yeah, definitely if you are unsure of the difference between civil rights and civil liberties, that's something that you gotta, you gotta get there. All right, so make sure that we are sure on those differences. Don't use those terms interchangeably. I absolutely could see that being on the AP test. Corey Freeman, what's up, Snowy Tiger? All right. Banned segregation of public schools. We're at 385. Let's get to 400, yo. Let's get to 400. It's five seconds left. I don't think we're going to get to 400. 390. We are inching along. Brandon is not fast chicken. He's gentle eager. All right. The overwhelming majority got this one correct. It is, of course... Brown versus Board of Education, one of, if not the most famous Supreme Court cases in American history. Fast Chicken holding on to that lead. Snowy Tiger right behind. All right. Blink. So it's going to be a law or a case. Banned discrimination in public accommodations on the basis of race, color, gender, religion, national origin. All right. So what? Banned discrimination in public accommodations on those grounds. All right, all 684 of you, welcome again. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you're enjoying this, if this review is helping you out, if you want to help me out, do me a favor and hit that like button. That would be great for me. Again, make sure that you uh, you subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna stop saying that. It's annoying. I promise. I won't say it again during this video. I probably will say it again during the next one though. I'm sorry. It's like by obligation. Yeah, this is a nice water bottle. I, I have three of these. I have one at work, I have one at home, and my wife has one here, so yeah. Two liters of water. I drink at least one a day. Sometimes during the school year, if I'm at school, you can drink one at school and then one at home. Seven seconds left. All right, 388 responses, 391. And the answer, of course, is the Civil Rights Act of 1964, the peak civil rights legislation in American history, probably. I think that that would be a true thing to say. Um, all right, so very nice job. I don't think I need to talk about that any longer. I think we are doing good there. Ooh, and by four points, Snowy Tiger takes the lead. Oh man, and Wonder Pony right behind. So this is gonna be a fight to the finish. Two questions to go. Number 14, affirmative action is. Affirmative action is. Bum, bum, bum. Somebody drinks two gallons of water a day. I missed who it was. Lexi drinks two gallons a day. Pixar drinks 17 gallons a day. That, that doesn't sound too say. I don't know. I'm not a doctor though, so maybe. Maybe. Of course I like Final Fantasy. I'm in chapter 17 right now. I'm on the edge of finishing the 7 remake. I can't wait for part 2. It needs to happen in my life. Um, <laughs> Riley, Riley, what's up? Riley says, please mix a protein shake during one of these lives. 
Uh, man, that would make it like school. Now that would feel like we're all back together in times of normal if I sat here shaking a protein shake. Um, but I am not trying to do that on camera. Something about that motion of shaking a protein shake is just a little awkward. Um, I'm not trying to do that on camera. It seems just a little bit weird, right? Um, all right. Affirmative action, blue is correct, is allowed, but the use of quotas is prohibited. So again, quota would be a specific set number. Affirmative action, yes, you can give preference and priority to minorities. No, you can't say there needs to be a specific number. In this minority, it can be racial or gender um, minorities. Um, typically, racial is where it's the most controversial, um, but yeah. Uh, Ryan asks, yes, there's going to be a little money workout after... Well, after the AP exam, after the videos today, that's what I'm doing at 2.30 when this is all over. Uh, I got to work out. I don't really have anything to I need to go to a gym, though. I'm getting, oh, man, we're all getting depressed being stuck at home all the time. Last question. The basis for most civil rights legislation is the blank. You have three clauses or the Bill of Rights. All right. I am really inactive on all my other social media, people talking about that, like super inactive. Um, I got off Twitter like in after the 2016 election, it was just too toxic for me, so I am almost never there. Um, the most, the basis for most civil rights legislation is the blank, 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 blank. Chocolate flavored yogurt covered raisins, yo. Aw, see, now I want to be in seventh period. Good times, good times. Actually, fourth period is where I get made fun of more about those raisins. That wasn't seven, that was fourth period. That was an econ. Um, I don't know, Lee asks, would it be smart to quote documents in the argument essay? I would not quote them directly. You gotta show that you understand. Sure, you can quote them, but it's not gonna really get you the point. They're not seeing if you can copy-paste, like, it, so I would write about them, show you understand. All right, the answer is the Equal Protection Clause. Again, overwhelming majority of you guys, about three-fourths of you got that correct. It is the Equal Protection Clause, which guarantees that it says, nor shall any state deprive any person in this jurisdiction of the equal protection of the law. So then we have civil rights laws mostly being made to uh, uphold and defend the Equal Protection Clause, which did empower Congress to make such legislation. All right. Our third place, Polite Dog, answering all of the questions accurately. Second place, 15 out of 15, Fast Chicken, which means first place, Snowy Tiger. All right, congratulations to Snowy Tiger, Fast Chicken, Polite Dog, Flying Lemur, and Wonder. I don't know what came after Wonder came in fifth place. Very nice. Sorry, David, I just didn't see your comments before, but now I see it. I don't know what your comments were before that, but I'm not skipping over that one. All right. Great job to everybody. Um, we had a lot of people playing, so that is awesome. Let's see. Um, bum, bum, bum. 600 people, 611 people are still here, so that is great. Um, hope that this helped a little bit. Again, if we can review in ways that you know aren't as stressful, that's great. 976 players in total. I guess came and went, probably not at the same time, but that is awesome. So hey, if you're in 306th place, Lydia, that's the top third. All right, so um, great job to everybody. Thanks for coming. We will definitely do some coots tomorrow. The two o'clock live stream, I think is a really, really important one. I'm gonna go over the concept application FRQ. Um, if you check out the description below in this video, I have some links for you guys. Um, check out the third link. It says official practice FRQs from College Board. All right, and if you click on that It's gonna have the FRQs that I'm gonna go over the one I'm gonna go over is specifically It's the one about Reagan and the war powers resolution uh, College Board put that one out I think yesterday and they did a video about it, but I'm gonna do one uh, I'm gonna go through that process of how I write that FRQ. So that'll be coming up at 2 o'clock All right, I'm um, just gonna glance at the chat real quick all the people saying thank you. I say you're welcome glad to help um, appreciate it. Oh, don't forget to say the money production. Yes, good, I good, good idea. Um, Jack, I have not done a unit one review, a live review. There is a unit one video, obviously, so check that out. Um, I will do unit one tomorrow, um, so I can do that along with the documents, along with the cases. We did do a unit one Kahoot already. That was yesterday. All right. Shout out to St. Bonaventure University. I don't know. Um, 
2 p.m. All right, be back here at 2 p.m. We're going to do the concept application FRQ. It is different. It has changed. So this is probably the really important one. Again, thanks so much for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all of your support. I hope that I'm helping you guys out and that you're benefiting. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at 2 o'clock. All right, so until then, this has been a La Money production. I panicked because I hit in stream, but then they gave me the option. All right, see you guys. That was crazy.